In this video, we're going to look at how we can export this promotional email from RapidWeaver and create a template for it inside of MailChimp. So to do that, let's go to Safari. I'm in my MailChimp account. Go to the template section and choose create a template. Then we're going to code our own again. And rather than using the pasting code as we did in the previous video, what we're going to do is use the import zip option. Now the reason we're going to do that is because we want MailChimp to host our images for us. So previously, as I said, we used pasting code and that meant that we had to use the inliner stack inside of RapidWeaver and we had to copy the HTML code and we also had to publish our emails to a server somewhere. And that was so that the images were hosted online and could be displayed inside of the email. However, as I say, what we're going to do in this video is use the import zip option. And that is going to mean that we are uploading all of the assets for the email, including the images. And that will mean that MailChimp can host it for us. So choose that option and give this template a name of promotional email. Then what we need to do is go back to RapidWeaver and we need to export our site locally. So to do that, let's set up a publishing destination and we'll add a new destination and we'll choose local folder. On the desktop, we'll create a new folder of exported emails and we'll choose that. Then what we'll do is choose the untitled destination there or actually let's just call this local quickly. Then we'll go back and publish that to our local folder. So this is going to export all of our emails essentially to our desktop. So now when we look on our desktop, we've got the exported email folder. And if we have a look at the promotional folder here and quick look, you'll see here is the, um, sorry, here is the email template. Now all of the images for that email are inside of this files folder. So we can have a look here. We've got all four of those city images and we've also got the RealMac software logo. So what we want to do, as I say, is create a zip of these two files and folders here and upload that to MailChimp. So what we need to do is select index and the files folder, right click and then say compress to items. That will create an archive.zip for us and that is what we're going to upload into MailChimp. So let's go back to Safari and select that zip that we just created. So on the desktop, go to exported emails, promotional and choose archive.zip. Then click the upload button. Then we'll get a preview of our email inside of MailChimp in the same way that we did in the previous video with the pasting code. So what's happened here is that MailChimp has taken the index.html file, it's realized that that is the HTML for this email, and then it's uploaded the files as well. Now, what you probably think is that this is working and we're done and we can save and exit, but that's not quite the case. It's not actually working the way that we want it to. If I copy the image address for this image here and open that up in a new tab, you'll see that it is still referencing our rapidweaver.email domain name. So if I go and refresh that or view that image on our domain, you'll see this is the image that is being served inside of the email template. Now the issue with that is that we didn't want to host our images. So we don't want this uh, image to be used. We want MailChimp to use the images that we uploaded from the files folder. And I can show you that this is actually not working. If I go to transmit, I've logged into my rapidweaver.email domain name. And what I'm going to do is delete all of the emails that we uploaded previously. Okay, once you've done that, let's go back and edit the code. And you'll see that the preview refreshes and now we have a lot of broken image links. So if we go to the other tab here where we were looking at the image that was on our rapidweaver.email domain, and if we refresh that, we'll see that's no longer there. And that's because I just deleted it from our server. So how do we get MailChimp to recognize that the images that should be used here 
are the ones that we uploaded from the files folder because again if we just go to the desktop here and open up our exported email folder and then the promotional folder you'll see that all of those images are available inside of the files folder so to get MailChimp to recognize where those images are what we need to do is go into RapidWeaver and change a couple of settings so let's go back to RapidWeaver here go to our promotional email and then into edit mode and what we need to do on each one of the images is uncheck the prepend web address option and what this is going to do is remove the http colon slash slash rapidweaver.email part of the image source so this is then just going to reference these files locally or from within inside the files folder so once you've done that on all of your images we can publish the uh, promotional email locally then what we need to do go to the desktop again open the exported email go to promotional delete that zip file there and then recreate it so select those two uh, items and choose compress two items here we'll get a new archive.zip file then what we need to do is go back to Safari we are going to come back out of here so we are going back to MailChimp then we'll go into templates again we can delete this promotional email that we just created because that is incorrect and then we're going to create a new template again we're going to code our own and we're importing a zip and we're going to call this promotional email we're going to browse for the zip file and it's here the archive.zip that we just created then we click the upload button and now when the preview loads you'll see that the images are there and if I copy the image address open that up in a new tab you'll see that that is now being hosted on gallery.mailchimp.com and if I look at that image there we can see there it is so this is a great way to get your email service to host your images for you now there's loads of benefits in doing that if you send out a lot of emails and you don't want to pay for the additional bandwidth on your server you can get as I say MailChimp to host it for you and also you don't need to worry about where the images are being hosted or if you accidentally delete something from your server you don't need to worry about any of that MailChimp will handle all of the serving of these images for you I think this is a better option than hosting the images yourself however I just want to show you that the two options are available okay having said that once you've got that hosted with MailChimp what we can do is say save and next and we've got our promotional email template done you can then go ahead and create another campaign if you wanted to and send it out using this promotional email template okay that will do it for this video in the final video we are going to look at how we can add those unsubscribe tags to our email templates inside of RapidWeaver so once you're ready I'll see you there